It's Doug here from the Tick Wheel Project, and this is addressed to everybody that gets this um, video. Ma, you've been doing a fantastic job with your design team. I really appreciate it, and hopefully we can get this to its successful completion, which means millions of units all over the place, but we're on the right track. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the ink. The ink is so important with what we're doing here. The ink roll that you sent me was not the ink roll that I sent to you guys to put in. Um, the one that I received um, from the manufacturer was different than the ones you sent me back. This is the metal hub that you put into the one that um, we just received with the newest prototype. So the surface of the ink part, the black part here, is a different interior diameter than the one that we had sent you, which was actually a gel material. Now the gel material, what that means is, is that it's a formulation that's mixed up and then it's poured into molds. So it doesn't have any structure of its own. It's pure gel, pure ink, and it decreases in diameter as it's used, but we'll never use it enough in one of these machines to ever have that issue. So we're trying to find something maybe you can source that transfers to the rubber pad as easily as the gel does in the event that we can't make a good deal with the manufacturer for that gel. So the side by side view, this is the gel material and it's, it's really messy. So the center, if you can see it, the center itself, is much much different than the one that uh, we just received and if you see the black area the thickness of it is so much thicker which means the diameter of the shaft or the ax axle would be smaller so this stuff it's even shiny and it's it's just messy to touch but it's uh <laughs> i don't want to get it on my fingers but that's what we're dealing with so when I transfer it to the wood, because this stuff is specifically made for wood. I know you guys tried it on the paper and that's okay and that's what I'm gonna do right here. But on lumber and wood, which is what it's intended for, it transfers really, really easily to it. So this is the one that has the shaft that we had been working with, the sample that we originally sent you it had this kind of a shaft in it. So I don't know how well you can see it on the video, but that's the axle and the plastic one, but that is this gel material. So now this one's been exposed to the air for months and months. It's not as shiny as the one I just took out of the package. The package that I sent you guys was uh, plastic just like this. So that's that's what we sent and they were individually wrapped. And I think I sent you five of them. So you'll have to check and see because I don't know how it got mixed up as far as the one that we were shipped with the white cartridge. This is the 3D printed one that you made and this is the 3D printed one that we started with originally. So there's a little bit difference for the axle sizes as well in that but if I can get this in easily this is the gel one and the gel one, I just use a screwdriver to kind of get it in here so that it snaps in. But with this material, it, it actually rolls and it's, it's really dark on everything. The other one, if I can get it back in without getting ink all over me, I'll put it in the white one that you sent me. There we go. So equal amount of pressure. It may look the same, but it's only half as dark as the gel one here. Okay, I realized that no one could see the ink as it was being laid down. So I'm gonna do this one more time and I'll just show you guys the way it works. So this one right here, that was the gel one and the gel one that works really, really dark. So I'll just, See if I can position it so we get a good look at it. But anyway, as we roll it along, it leaves a really dark mark. And then the other one, 
This is the one that you just sent me with the metal shaft in it and much less surface area. Uh, the axle is much larger in here. So we'll just put it down and we'll do the same thing. So there's just, there's no comparison. And as you go, it gets less and less as well. Whereas the gel one, when I roll it along, you know, there's, there's just, no matter what, it just, just keeps going. So that's what we're really dealing with here. So anyway, I'm just going to stick this in. Sorry, the video cut it. You couldn't see it. So I'm going to stick this right in the middle. Forgive the hiccup. So hopefully you guys can source this ink. I'll try and send you the information about this because I believe it's under license to be manufactured by various companies probably around the world. But we might be able to strike a better deal with this kind of roll if we can get it. So the idea is we do need another um, cartridge sent like this. So 3D print one. Ship it to us with the, one of the ink rolls in that I did send you. And that would be really helpful. But other than that, this, this works fantastic. Either one of these ink cartridges actually fit in the one that you sent me. But there is a slight difference on the shaft length from the original we sent you to the one that you guys made. They both snap in, but they just align slightly different inside. I, I'm also aware that there is an adjustment screw here. And I did tighten it up so that I could get it to just touch the uh, printing surface without touching this part. But when we go to final production, we'll probably make the roller, the, the wheel itself black so it doesn't show anyway. But other than that, um, you guys are doing a fantastic job. We're getting really close. If we can just solve this ink problem. The other thing too, I forgot to mention, this one, the one that you sent me, this kind of roll, it picks up dirt and sawdust and it plugs up really fast. The gel roll, I believe, and I'll have to confirm this, but I believe if we just rinse it with water, it just rinses right off all the dirt. So you're right back to fresh ink every time. I'm not sure about that, but I'll have to confirm it. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much. We're, we're getting close this tick wheel project. Hey, if you guys could think of a better name too, tick wheel. I don't know if that's the right name for this, but um, that's something else we can talk about. But thank you.